In this video, I'm going to answer nine questions on critical thinking. What is critical thinking? What's the early history of critical thinking? What makes a person a critical thinker? Who are critical thinkers? What's the importance of critical thinking? What are the benefits of critical thinking? What are examples of critical thinking? Are critical thinkers born or made? And finally, are critical thinkers more intelligent? Let's get some answers. 1. What is critical thinking? Critical thinking is the analysis of available facts, evidence, observations, and arguments to form a judgment. This judgment is free from bias and is solely based on facts. The subject is complex. Several different definitions exist, which generally include the rational, skeptical, and unbiased analysis or evaluation of factual evidence. Critical thinking is self-directed, self-disciplined, self-monitored, and self-corrective thinking, and because of that, a critical thinker is one who practices the skills of critical thinking or like this nurse, has been schooled in its disciplines. So, for the most part, we think of critical thinking as the process of analyzing facts to form an objective judgment. It's about finding the truth, and once we think we have, we ask ourselves the critical question. What do we really know? What do we really know? What do we really know? To put it apart from what we only think we know. 2. What's the early history of critical thinking? Socrates established the fact that one cannot depend upon those in authority to have sound knowledge and insight. He demonstrated that people may have power and high position and yet be deeply confused and irrational. Socrates maintained that for an individual to have a good life, or to have one that's worth living, he must be a critical questioner and possess an interrogative soul. Socrates found it imperative that we ask ourselves deep questions which profoundly probe in a thinking before we accept ideas as worthy of belief. Socrates also established the importance of seeking evidence, closely examining reasoning and assumptions, analyzing basic concepts, and tracing out implications, not only of what is said, but of what is done as well. In his mode of questioning, Socrates highlighted the need for thinking for clarity and logical consistency. He asked people questions to reveal their irrational thinking or lack of reliable knowledge. He established the method of questioning beliefs. What do we know versus what we only think we know? In doing so, he closely inspected assumptions and relied on evidence and some rationale. Plato recorded Socrates' teachings and carried on the tradition of critical thinking. Aristotle and subsequent Greek skeptics refined Socrates' teachings, using systematic thinking and asking questions to ascertain the true nature of reality beyond the way things appear from a glance. Socrates set the agenda for the tradition of critical thinking, namely to reflectively question common beliefs and explanations carefully distinguishing beliefs that are reasonable and logical from those that, however appealing to our native egocentrism, however much they serve our vested interests, however comfortable or comforting they may be, lack adequate evidence or rational foundation to warrant belief. 3. What makes a person a critical thinker? Critical thinking involves asking questions, defining a problem, examining evidence, analyzing assumptions and biases, avoiding emotional reasoning, avoiding oversimplification, considering other interpretations, and tolerating ambiguity. Dealing with ambiguity is an essential part of critical thinking. 
Another characteristic of critical thinking is metacognition. Metacognition is thinking about one's own thinking. So metacognition is being aware of one's thinking as one performs specific tasks and then using this awareness to control what one is doing. Finally, critical thinkers are skeptical, open-minded, and value fair-mindedness. They respect evidence and reasoning, respect clarity and precision, look at different points of view, and will change positions when reason leads them to do so. So they're not afraid of admitting that they are wrong, or that they don't know the answer, and they never dig in a gut reaction or emotional point of view. 4. Who are critical thinkers? Critical thinkers ask questions, gather relevant information, think through solutions and conclusions, consider alternative systems of thought, and communicate effectively. 5. What's the importance of critical thinking? No matter what path or profession you pursue, critical thinking skills will always be relevant and beneficial to your success. Besides, they are crucial for the economy. Our future depends on technology, information, and innovation. Critical thinking is needed. Critical thinking is needed for our fast-growing economies to solve problems as quickly and as effectively as possible. Furthermore, critical thinking skills improve our language and presentation skills. They promote creativity. They are important for self-reflection and form the basis of science and democracy. 6. What are the benefits of critical thinking? For starters, critical thinking is key for career success. It helps us make better decisions. Critical thinking can make us happier and help us form well-informed opinions. It turns us into better citizens, improves our relationships, promotes curiosity, it promotes curiosity, and allows for creativity. Critical thinking also enhances our problem-solving skills and encourages the development of crucial skills like logical thinking, decision-making, and open-mindedness. Finally, it creates independence from others. 7. What are examples of critical thinking? Firstly, a nurse analyzes the cases at hand and decides the order by which the patients should be treated. Secondly, a plumber evaluates the materials which would best suit a particular job. Thirdly, an attorney reviews evidence and devises a strategy to win a case or to decide whether to settle at a court. And finally, a manager analyzes customer feedback forms and uses this information to develop a customer service training session for employees. 8. Are critical thinkers born or made? Children are not born with the power to think critically, nor do they develop this ability naturally beyond survival level thinking. Critical thinking is a learned ability which must be taught. Sadly, most individuals never learn it. 9. Are critical thinkers more intelligent? Research has found that both intelligence and critical thinking predicted the occurrence of negative life events, but critical thinking ability was a stronger predictor than intelligence. This means you can have high IQ, but still make decisions which may lead to negative life outcomes. So that means you can have a high IQ. It means, you, it means that simply having a high IQ does not mean you're gonna have great critical thinking skills. A high IQ does not automatically mean you have great critical thinking skills. The good news is that critical thinking skills can be learned and enhanced. So I'm going to go over ways to improve our critical thinking skills in my next video in this series.
This information came from these websites. You'll find these links below this video. If you found this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel and watch this series from the start. In two weeks, I'll be back with a new video in my series on intellectual giftedness. Till then, I only want to say three things. Thank you for watching. Take care and bye for now.